what's up guys so today we're gonna do some maintenance on the 350z as you see it's raining oh my god water just got in my eye twice what the hell what up guys it's a new day so we got some maintenance doing on the 350z uh, it's raining today as you see and I got the mint glasses on shout out to Haggard Garages You already know I watch that shit all day. They're drifting. I'm gonna watch it. But yeah, so I'm gonna be changing the spark plugs I got the driver's side windshield wiper to change and I think I got something in the mail so today's gonna be a good day All right, so windshield wiper installed plus because now it's raining and my last windshield wiper was kind of shitty so now to go to AutoZone to pick up my laser platinum spark plugs and then install that and see what I got in the mail hopefully it's a car part I bought a couple parts and a couple things for my camera too so I'll show you that What Sarah did? Sarah, I can't say to do nothing. What she do? Yeah, yeah, I got a package, and it's from Z1 Motorsports. You already know the deal. Z1's where it's at for all G35s and 350Zs, man. Let's go. This is where it's at. All right, so let's open this. Fucking one. How much fucking wrap you gotta put in here? Alright, alright. Big ass box. Nigga, double size the box. Why Z1? But it's alright. It's okay. Is there anything else in the All this. I guess so. Gotta protect the package somehow. So honestly, I honestly know what it is already. I know what the package is already, obviously. I ordered it. So yeah, one of my truck struts are broken. So I bought high power truck struts. Get rid of the other two. For the spark plug and the PCV valve, I got a, honestly, I don't even know what brand of PCV valve I got. But it was the best one and uh, the highest priced. It was like uh, 15 bucks. So yeah, here's a new PCV valve. I don't know if mine's is worn out, but I will be checking, right? If I'm doing the spark plugs, might as well get to the PCV valve. It's right there too. Oh, yeah, PCV valve and spark plug. So might as well do them all at the same time because I heard these go bad and there's a, a hundred thousand miles on my car. So might as well change it. First thing is take the positive side of the terminal out. All right, strut bar coming off. Strut bar off. Damn, that strut bar is heavy as hell. All right. Now that that is out of the way, I'm gonna go with the intake next. Intake. Top cover coming off. Cover off. Ow. Actually hot. First spark plug coming out, guys. Clean you guys off right here. Let me clean you guys off. Squad can be looking all foggy and shit. This shit burnt. 
Polisi. Not that bad. There's no oil in the gap around. measurements. No, they, they came with the gap measurements. I got oh, perfect. Let me see. Measurement. This is open so much. Shit. See, they don't even got the tip anymore. So, for the spark plugs, I got Bosch double platinum. Do not get those iridium, NRG iridium plugs. I mean, NRG makes double platinums and uh, laser platinum. Do not, I repeat, do not buy the freaking uh, iridium plug. They go pretty fast. So you're gonna be changing spark plugs pretty fast. New spark plug. So the long screws are for the coil packs. Short screws are for the screws that hold the coil packs. Heard that guys? So yes, it is nighttime. I've done the right side. The right side is finished. I got one more spark plug and it's this spark plug, but I'm doing the PCV valve. See how there's oil on it? That's how you can tell it's getting old. And then I had to do this spark plug here. So, almost done. I don't know how it became night so fast. But honestly, it's only been like uh, an hour, uh, an hour, 20 minutes. This is the first time doing spark plugs. But now that I know how to do it, this shit is going to be like 30 seconds next time. So, new PCV valve in. Alright, now to finish this up a little bit and start her up. So, what up guys? It's a new day. Fucking yesterday I got frustrated at this shit because... It didn't want to go. I'm going to show you what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I put everything back. Spark plugs. Um, what else? I put a new PCV valve. So I go to put the strut bar back. And it's just giving me a hell of a time. Like, I couldn't put these two screws on. They're off thing. So I got to readjust it. I got to make it shorter. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Get the hood cover back on. Uh, the car is still misfiring. The car is still misfiring, like on uh, like when it hits like 3,000 RPMs, it's like it starts jumping. I thought it was a spark plugs, or I thought it was a PCV valve, but it's not. So I gotta figure that out first. That's my main problem. I have my O2 sensor coming in, so it might be that. So when I plug it in, do an update on that. But um, yeah. So let's do this. I put the high power springs from Z1 Motorsports, and yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty nice. Um, so what happened here is I, the bolt I tried to screw on, and it snapped inside. So I'm missing a bolt there. I heard, I heard they make a special tool for that. So I gotta buy that tool, take that screw out because I'm gonna be thinking about that screw 24/7. But check it out. Check it out. Damn, that bitch hard as fuck to take down. heard boom now I could go to a full open mode Hee! display display mode right there you get what I'm saying you understand what I'm saying display mode right there Woo! don't mind the dirt what up guys it is day three of 350z maintenance so you know the other day I ended up breaking the screw inside uh, where the trunk strut goes so I ended up buying a tool this tool it removes the screw you drill a hole you put this in and it screws it the opposite way so you can remove the screw we're gonna do that and then I have some sea foam we're gonna be applying this to the oil to the fuel and then we're gonna be cleaning the carbs out the engine hopefully it's gonna be a, a big smoky cloud and then I got some mass airflow sensor cleaner because that might be dirty. That might be the reason why I'm having my misfires. Hopefully, if I clean it, it'll fix it. But also, I'm missing my back O2 sensors. I got them coming in. They should be here any time, like the next two days. And I'll show you when I get them and stuff. And I got a lot more parts coming, so stay tuned. Skip me. what happened guys it snapped so the screw snapped in there and then the screw unsnapper snapped in there 
So, we did it with a self-tapping screw. I mean, yeah, it looks different, but it's in. It's not moving, baby. Perfect. So next is the mass airflow sensor. Here you go, that's it right there. You wanna unplug that. So yeah, mass airflow sensor clean. Put it to the side, let it dry, make sure there's no wetness. Make sure there's no liquid, make sure there's no condensation on it. Just let it sit, let it dry for like five minutes, 10 minutes. While we're doing that, um, I'm gonna add the additive to the oil. I'm gonna add the additive to the fuel and we're gonna keep it going. So let's go get the sea foam. Damn, man. I need to get a lens for this. Oh, and I got a couple packages too. So, let me get the sea foam. Sea foam. Sea foam. So, I'm adding sea foam to my oil. Uh, it's not going to be a lot of sea foam. It's going to be like um, a quarter. Too much sea foam, not enough sea foam will not hurt your engine will not hurt your oil or your thing, but you can't flood your car if you don't do it right. And I'm gonna show you how to not flood your car. All right, mass airflow sensor, going back in. So this side, the opening goes towards this for the air flows through it, understand? And then it comes out. Where is it at? Always. <laughs> what that lady talking about? <laughs> Crazy ladies. So now to add it to the oil. So what you want to do when you add it to the oil, you want to get your car to like the proper temperature. Make sure it's idling. Make sure you're, you're good. So make sure you get it to proper temperature. So surprise too. So once I get here, I realize that my O2 sensor is here. So now to plug my O2 sensors. So now I'm gonna add a little sea foam to my oil. Only a quarter. My tools. I'm bringing them back. So what you wanna do is get the plug off of your brake thing right it's gonna start idling rough it's gonna want to die down so and then what you're gonna do is I don't have a cameraman right now so what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed it through and while I'm doing that I'm gonna be feeding it through there slowly I'm talking about slowly you would flood your engine if you don't do it that way that sea foam was working man there was a lot of carb look at that shit the whole air is polluted because of that shit so the whole time I was feeding it through this tube. I kind of got some spillage on the bottom, but it's fine. But yeah, the whole time I was feeding it through that tube, the brakes still in their fuse. So that's how you do it. If you don't got one of those nozzles, get your hose back on, turn off your car, let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes, turn it on, and that's gonna be, that's, that's gonna be sitting there. The, the, that uh, sea foam is gonna be sitting in the engine and it's gonna get all that carb. So, turn it off. Got it spilled all over here. Be careful not to spill it on your trim because it will stain. So, sea foam works. This is a miracle product. In the fuel, in the oil, it helps your fuel economy. It's been proven. There's mad videos. It helps your oil. It cleans your oil in. And it cleans your intake and all that. That's how that's done, baby. I will get under my car and do my O2 sensors, plug those both in, most definitely. I'm not gonna leave this place without doing that. Cause it's been too long. Finish the O2 sensor. You gotta put that uh, bang if you want it to work. It won't work. 
So it's been, so it's been uh, t uh, 10, 15 minutes. I let the sea foam sit in. So now we're gonna be turning on the car. And look at that. So I'm finally done with the installs, the spark plugs, the PCV valve, the trunk uh, springs, the O2 sensors, sea foam cleaning, mass airflow sensor cleaning, all in three days. Get it done, get it right. You already know the deal. It is just cruising here, and we out.